Welcome to another channel. Happy New Year! Today is 1st January, our first Pink Sunday in 2017. I will explain the most important tips advice of how to hold table tennis racket correctly based on Chinese technique. This is the part 2. But firstly, I want to share with you a true story. I am the fastest improving player in my club. There is an amateur young player who always watch my training session. One day, I asked him, Hi Vic, how long have you trained? 8 years. What? You have trained 8 years and still... I saw a sadness in his eye. Another day, I watched his training sessions for beginner player. He is very motivated, but he holds his racket like this. Vic can't look properly with his grip. He can only block the ball. Poorly Vic. It is a waste of time to train with his bad grip. And the coach didn't correct him even during 8 years. Oh no! He didn't have enough time or he didn't want to correct. I feel sad and angry. That is the true story that leads me to make this video. Before showing what is the good grip based on Chinese philosophy, I want to discuss with you. Jean Mark Fisher has commented about the Zhang Jiku backhand tutorial. He said, I'd like to thank you very much. I practice according to what you are saying in this video since several months. And now I must say that my backhand's way much better and still improving. I will continue to follow your advice no matter what. Oh, thank you very much. I really like it. My Mo has commented, Oh man, I tried today. My reverse pen hole backhand was always so bad. But because of that video, I realized that my pen hole grip is extremely deep, so it is impossible to have a good reverse pen hole backhand with it. But when I corrected my finger, it was like, Wow! You opened my eye times! Oh, thank you very much for that command. Your command encouraged me a lot. Sometimes I just want to give up making videos. It takes too much time of my weekend to make video. I do not want to make a bad video, but I also have two young kids and many other tasks. But I'm very happy with your feedback and I continue. I have a problem and I need your advice. Please command and I will decide based on your advice. Gaurav Shama has commented. Um, I follow the video posted by you, however, please avoid referring to other coaches and showing them in your video. The other coaches are coaching to the best of their ability. Be humble and accept it rather than putting down others. So, but I just want to show the wrong way. I don't mean to rub them down. And now I want to ask you your advice. What should I do? I don't mean to put down others, I just want to improve the coaching as I know the fastest way to improve is to show the players or the coach their error, but if it hurts, I could stop it. So I need your opinions, please comment below. Now I will show you the most important key points to remember before holding your racket. There are many good guides showing you how to hold the racket correctly. For example, all about table tennis, pin skills, butterfly magazine, killer spin. Reflects. Ping Pong Wong. Expert Table Tennis. And more.
but it seems that these three key points of a table tennis grid has not been clearly explained. The first key point, due to the hand anatomy, you can hold your racket by two muscle group. Group 1. You hold mainly by little finger, ring finger, and middle finger, compartment 6, 5, and 4. Group 2. You hold mainly by thumb and index finger, compartment 1, 2, and 3. A table tennis player are mainly taught to hold the racket as holding a normal object by using the muscle group 1, the little, the ring, and the middle finger. But do you know that the muscle group 1 is also the extensor compartment of the wrist? By using the group 1, the wrist rotation is blocked, less freedom. You can verify it yourself. Now, hold your index, ring, and middle finger strongly and try to rotate your wrist from left to right, right to left. If you hold your finger very strong, you can hurt your wrist. Can you feel it? Now, try the group 2. Try to pinch strongly by using your thumb and index finger and try to rotate your wrist. You can see that now the group 2 less affects the rotation of your wrist. Your wrist has more freedom with group 2. So please remember, holding a table tennis racket is different than holding an object. Try to hold firstly with only your thumb and index to pinch. Using this muscle group will let your wrist can freely rotate, which is very important in table tennis. Then slightly put your middle ring and little finger on the racket. The main apply force comes from the thumb and the index, group 2, but not from the group 1. Chen's coach says that if you hold the bat correctly, someone comes from your back can suddenly pull it out of your hand. That means you shouldn't hold your racket firmly, but hold it loosely and by the thumb and uh, index finger. This is the best way to hold your racket, as your wrist can freely rotate, and the racket is at the same line with your arm, which is crucial to look correctly. The second key point, holding your racket as compact as possible. Look at the photo, the fingers are close together, which makes a very compact and solid grip. There are many advantages of holding compact. First, the more you compact your finger, the less use of compartment 4, 5, and 6, and therefore more freedom of the wrist. Second, a compact grip provides a better feeling of the ball as your fingers are as close together, it is clearer to feel the ball. And third, a compact grip makes a better support when you want to apply pressure on the grip. Try to separate your fingers on the handle and you can feel that it is harder now to support your stroke, especially for backhand to forehand transition. You can understand now why Zhang Zhiku has a very compact grip. A compact grip is crucial for him as his weapon is backhand flip and backhand counter attack, which require an absolute freedom of the wrist. His backhand to forehand transition during rally is very fast too. Please remember, you should never hold your racket and block your wrist. Using wrist is a must in table tennis. Use your thumb and index to hold your racket. Loosen your little ring and middle finger on the handle. Make a compact grip. Put your fingers close together. Your index finger should be very close to the handle. If you put it far away from the handle, 
It is easier to block but not good to loop the ball. If you have a wrong grip, it is time to correct it now. It is very hard to change your grip after a long time of holding a bad grip. However, if you succeeded to correct it, you will discover a new horizon of your table tennis. You will discover that it is much easier now to do some techniques that you can never do it before. If you are a coach, it is much more important to show your players the principle, the key points of holding a racket than showing how the racket like this, how like that. Because if the player understand the key points, they can improve their grip and adapt their grip based on their play style. That's it for today. I will show you the third principle and how to hold a pen hole racket next speed Sunday. Again, Happy New Year and see you everything.